Have you ever wanted to dive into the deepest part of the ocean? Well, you can do that today with us, but how long can you hold your breath? Don't worry, join us in today's video to embark on a diving expedition to the bottom of the earth. Before diving to a depth of 10,927 meters, we must first know what the Mariana Trench is, then we will dive in. The Mariana Trench is the deepest known trough, located on the seafloor east of the Mariana Islands in the western Pacific Ocean near Japan and the island of Guam, and its deepest location is in the Earth's crust. The depth of the trough is far below sea level, further than the height of Mount Everest at 9 kilometers above sea level. The trough has a maximum depth of 10,927 to 11,035 meters below sea level. How do you know about the Mariana Trench? Now we will start diving. Now we're going down and soon we'll be below sea level. At a depth of 0 to 20 meters, you can see fish and many other types of marine animals. Marine animals and fish at this depth are harmless. Then what about the depth of 21 meters and above? At a depth of 21 meters below the sea, a new world begins to appear. The coral reefs that we see in these shallow waters are diverse. At this depth, divers can still survive and enjoy the beauty of the Mariana Trough using swimming equipment. At a depth of 40 meters, divers are no longer visible. The maximum depth for divers is only 40 meters under the sea. And at a depth of 60 meters, the water pressure is getting stronger. In addition, at a depth of more than 60 meters, there will be dangerous marine animals, such as orca whales. These whales live in relatively shallow waters. This whale habitat can be found in almost all oceans in the world. In the food chain in the marine ecosystem, orca whales are predators at the top level. This means that these marine mammals have no natural predators, so no one can prey on them. Only at a depth of 60 meters, we are already afraid to be in this deepest trough. Then at a depth of 80 meters, we are surprised by the appearance of a whale shark, the largest species of fish weighing up to 80 tons, and this type of shark has a fairly long life. But who would have thought that this whale shark could survive and live for more than 100 years? For divers, diving at a depth of 100 meters is very dangerous because you can experience decompression. This can happen if you swim to the surface too fast. We will not explain here what decompression is. You can Google it yourself. At a depth of 100 to 2000 meters, we begin to enter cold waters. At this depth, we will encounter the giant Pacific octopus where this octopus lives in cold waters. Well, we are already at a depth of 150 meters, which is very dark. Only 1% of light can penetrate here from the surface of the water. The deeper we dive, the darker it will be, and the rest of the light has been absorbed by seawater. At a depth of 200 meters, we will see sea snakes or giant paddlefish. Sometimes paddlefish swim to the surface, making swimmers afraid. Indeed, this fish looks like a snake. The length of this fish reaches 11 meters, which can make us shiver and fear. It's getting dark, friends, and it turns out that we are already at a depth of 300 meters, where Japanese spider crabs live here. The body of this crab is only 0.5 meters in size and has legs like spider legs. Now we're at 500 meters below the surface of the water and we're diving even deeper. At this depth, we could have encountered the last blue whale. Blue whales dive this deep in search of food and this is the maximum depth they can go. Blue whales just want to prove that they can dive this deep. After all, blue whales are the largest creatures that have ever lived on Earth, both in the sea and on land. At this depth, the speed of sound is at its lowest, so it can be heard from a distance or deep sea channel. At a depth of 830 meters, we have arrived at the place where the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa, would sink completely if it were built below the water level of the Mariana Trough. Interestingly, at this depth, we have gone completely dark. Various strange sea creatures live in the Mariana Trough, which is 900 meters below the water surface. One of the aquatic animals that we can meet here is the giant squid. Imagine a giant squid that has eyes the size of a frisbee that can survive from savage marine animals. 
This giant squid is truly extraordinary. At this depth of 1,000 meters, we can hardly see anything without the help of lights and sonar. The water pressure here is very large. If you swim freely here, your body will be crushed in just two seconds. Imagine how heavy the water pressure is down here. Of course, this is not a good idea without a submarine. You know, at a depth of 1,100 meters, we will find the deepest volcano in the world, which is also called West Mata. The last eruption of this mountain occurred in 2019 and was successfully documented by an unmanned submarine. Below that we may encounter the ferocious giant white shark. This shark feels comfortable living at a depth of 1,200 meters below the water surface of the Mariana Trough. Although the vision of white sharks is rather poor at this depth, they can move and look for prey by smell. So they don't need to see to prey on other creatures. Not only white sharks, but leatherback turtles can also survive at this depth. Do leatherback turtles dive this far to find food, or just to tease giant white sharks? At a depth of 2,250 meters, we will encounter boxhead whales. This is the maximum depth they can go through. Actually, boxhead whales just want to hunt black dragonfish as their food. This whale is very large, its length alone reaches 19 meters, making it the largest toothed whale in the world. Of course, at a depth of 3,000 meters, we will see an amazing view. Actually, this coral reef can be found throughout the ocean, but specifically for this underwater coral reef, we will not be able to see without a submarine light. At 3,700 meters below the water surface of the Mariana Trench, we have reached the average depth of the ocean. We have passed the general seabed, and now the expedition to the real depths begins. Being at a depth zone of 4,000 meters is very scary. Where at this depth sea beasts of various species live, this is also known as the midnight zone. Not only that, the pressure at the top limit of the midnight zone is 4,000 meters feels like a whole regiment of elephants stepping on you. Even you will not have time to feel it. At a depth of 4,500 meters, we may encounter predatory fish. This is called the sun gut fish. Its long, crooked teeth and lighted antennae look very scary. Monster-bellied fish are also seen at this depth. This fish is like a monster eel that has an elastic stomach. This fish can swallow prey that is three times larger than it. We should not be too long in this zone. We will find the wreck of the SS Rio Grande at a depth of 5,750 meters. This is the deepest wreck in the South Atlantic that sank in 1941. No wonder this ship was only discovered 55 years after it sank. Here is the depth of 6,000 meters, the darkest depth below sea level. We have entered the Mariana Trough. This place is an unexplored place as well as the most interesting place for scientists and adventurers. We must be wondering, what exactly is in the Mariana Trench? Soon we will explore the true depths of the Mariana Trench. The snailfish is a fish that has a transparent body, can live at a depth of 8,000 meters and is immune to high pressure. We have arrived at the bottom of the earth, at a depth of more than 10,000 meters below the surface of the water, and this depth is also called the Challenger. We have arrived at the bottom of the earth, where no fish or vertebrate marine animals can survive in this depth because the water pressure is very high. Very few people have ever explored these depths and there is not much knowledge of these depths. Even so, scientists are continuing to explore the bottom of the Mariana Trench to reveal the secrets of the Mariana Trench. How about it? If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep following our channel 